Folks, how you doing? It's your main man, you were guy. You back with another hit show, The Actors Cut. I have the lovely Tara Weddington on again. I'm so glad that she came back for another interview with me. She had a great response and it was a great show. Great energy from a great woman, so she's back. So Tara, how are you? How you been? Um, I'm good. good. I'm really good. Um, <laughs> I've been great. I'm really excited. 2017 has been an awesome year, so I'm looking forward to the following months. It has <laughs> been. It has been. So tell us about some of the things that you... I, I've seen some of the projects that you've been doing, and I just saw a movie that you had done, The Man From Everywhere. Yes! <laughs> Tell, let, let's talk about that. Tell us wow. about that. Oh, oh, <laughs> Thank oh, you. Oh, okay, wait. I'm sorry. I know Tara. She's a great friend of mine. I yeah. love her to death. But these people don't know you. Right. For the people who didn't see you the first time, introduce yourself. Uh, to the hi. hi, my name is Tara Weddington. Um, I am an actress. I'm from Missouri. And I am here in New York pursuing my acting career. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. And she's doing big things. Yeah. Wonderful. Very talented actress. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk. Let's get back okay. and talk about the yeah. movie. Let's talk about so that. The, so the movie is A Man From Everywhere. And um, it's a really good, just feel-good story. It's a really good story, especially with just the climate of what's going on right now. It's it's just nice to see something that's just feel good and just uh, just has these two characters from um, different, just they live different lives and how they just come together and they form this friendship. So it's a really nice right, story. Right, yeah. right, right. Can you tell us a little about um, it? Or we, do we have I to play, wait to see okay, it? Okay, I'll tell you a little bit. I'll tell you a little bit. So um, I play Haley. And um, she is uh, this, pretty much uh, this, this young female who is working in corporate America and it's just not satisfying for her. She doesn't really feel like she's um, really making a difference. And so she kind of just goes out through her days, kind of in a mopey feel and kind of just, uh, just almost in a, a sadness, kind of a, well, not necessarily sad, but more of a, just a huh feeling. Yeah. <laughs> so just wanting to find uh, something special, what she does. And, you know, sometimes when you're going about with life and it, you don't feel like you're having an impact, and you just think to yourself, like, what am I doing here? What, what is, you know, like, this isn't my calling. This is not what I expected. You know, that, that can do, you know, that can make you go into, like, this sort of, um, shallow depression and so not and so uh yeah that's kind of where she is and she happens to meet mel and uh mel is a man that's homeless and uh, he has a an amazing story and um they meet up one day in a park and then the rest is just you know just you did, not history but just <laughs> it's just very. the building of their friendship. Right. So yeah. <laughs> right. Very nice. How did you get involved with that project? Um, you know, so um they had an audition on backstage and um it's Idealist Films. They were auditioning and there was like I think they had like over three hundred submissions. And so um I auditioned and then um, I auditioned again and they chose me. So, yeah. That's how it happened. Right. Good. You know, the one thing I did like about Haley was I really could connect to her. Right. And sometimes you get these breakdowns and you're just like, breakdowns are um, these auditions and you just think like, I, I don't know how to connect. I don't, or you just try really hard to say, how can I fit into this? Is this a part of my essence? And so with Haley, I really felt connected to her. I really felt like uh, some parts of her story I experienced. And so, uh, yeah, it was really nice to play a character like that. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so so what, what do you prefer to, to, to do best? Because you've done the film, you've yeah. done the theater. Yeah. So <laughs> wh which one of those would you, would you like to would do I like both? To, or which you one know, like? I think it's important to always uh, have that stage experience. Um, some, I don't know, like I, what made me, what got me attracted to acting are what, what I feel like that made me the person who I am today is television. It was very impactful. 
Um, I grew up watching a, a lot of, of TV, <laughs> and so uh, I was huge into children's shows and family shows and just 90s television. And so, but what made me fall in love was being on stage. What mm -hmm. made me really feel like I could really do this was stage. Just, just uh, being live and um, just having a build up, telling that story and, and really tapping into it and really being vulnerable and really experiencing it um, on stage is, it's, it's addictive. And uh, one thing that always, <laughs> that always happens to me is, before I go out on stage, before it's my cue to go out on stage, I get really, really nervous. And um, it's, it's really nice to take all those nerves, all those butterflies in my stomach mm -hmm. and channel it <laughs> and, and just make it, you know, make my presence very powerful on stage. It's, it's really addictive. I like right. it. it. And is. so, um, <laughs> it it and is. so that, you know, you, you just fall in love with it. I'm, I'm in love with stage and I, I love film. I love, uh, just the characters that film has. I love, um, all the, the sci-fi and, and horror and like all the guts and I, I love like sci-fi and right. horror and thriller. Like right. I, I love That's that the about good film. Stuff. Yeah, That's yeah. The good stuff. And action and explosions and stuff right. like that. But <laughs> but I I love theater too. I love the colors and the music and even just two people on stage and how you can just in the audience, you can really feel that energy that, that's coming off of them. It's, it's really nice. Yeah. So yeah, so I, I would love to continue to do both. I would love to be just a working actor. I'm not really looking to be famous. I'm not really looking to, to be uh, this, this star, but I would love to just be a working actor that consistently gets work. Right, mm -hmm. can't ask for more than that. Right. <laughs> Just consistently give right. me some work right. and some checks, and we good. Here. And we're perfect. <laughs> that is that is awesome. So, um, as you know, I had some of our we 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 have a we have a few mutual friends that yeah. have also been on my show, Jalisa and, mm -hmm. and Ravel and Darlene, yeah. and we were talking about um, like how you were talking about the role that you played with Haley mm -hmm. in the movie The Man From Nowhere. Mm -hmm. And we were just discussing, you know, the different roles, especially for um, African-American women, for mm -hmm. our black actresses that have really been, you know, mm -hmm. taking a stronghold lately instead of the more stereotypical type roles. Like, mm -hmm. you know, we've uh, Viola Davis and mm -hmm. Simone Missick, you know, playing mm -hmm. the detective on, you know, Luke Cage and mm -hmm. so forth. And it's really been a... Uh, uh, been really been a, a, a great uplift mm -hmm. of more positive characters. Mm -hmm. What what type of characters would you like to see more? What what type of characters would you like to portray on the screen or in so, theater? <laughs> so um, it's really interesting you ask that because <laughs> I've gotten to the point where I just feel like I I'm gonna really start creating my own content. It's something that just has to become necessary now, and so the characters that I've always been interest, interested in. And, and I get called in for these roles. It's, I get called in for a lot of uh, like these sci-fi like sci things and um, horror and quirk, quirky characters. And not as much quirky as I would like, but now that, um, that uh, aw Awkward has come out, it really has been like, oh, there are awkward mm -hmm. <laughs> black girls. I'm a living awkward black girl. My life is awkward. <laughs> and right. so I, <laughs> oh man. And it's so, okay. and it's so, okay. Everybody uh, has a little awkwardness. <laughs> and so it's, you know, it was strange when before, like even a few years ago, I would see this role. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm submitting myself for this. And it was like, no, uh, we're looking for actually Caucasian. And it was just like, oh man, <laughs> it was like, okay, <laughs> all right, well, I can't, I can't audition for it then. And so our, you know, you can submit yourself, but you're not gonna get a call back for it because that's just not right. uh, what they're looking for. But you know, that it is what it is, that, that's fine. And uh, so I said, you know what, I'm going to start creating my own. And so this year, and in a few weeks, <laughs> I will be developing my own content. It's gonna be um, thriller based. It is gonna be a bit of uh, some sci-fi, a bit of horror, and a bit of quirk. So that is, ex those are the characters that I'm going to uh, start putting myself out as. Those are just characters that I feel like I can really tap into. Right. Um, I've done dramatic, and I, I love drama. I, I uh, 
you know, I love the, the real meaty roles, but um, you can be dramatic and, and have like these different layers as well because people are so layered. Right. And sometimes you get this work where it's just like, oh, she's just mean. She's just a mean person. Mm -hmm. But then you don't, you know, you don't get the chance or opportunity because of what people may think or what people may assume, you know, of how black females are you know, just completely angry, completely bitter, but they don't show these layers of, of softer sides, or she's bitter, but maybe she's very quiet, mm -hmm. or um, this is her past, this is her history, and sometimes it could be as not so much of she's coming from, um, you know, just uh, the inner city, but she can easily come from middle class and have um, just this this bitterness or whatever, or she can, things just cannot be going right, but, um, but uh, yeah, I, I want to start doing, um, I'm going to start producing work that's, that's like that. And I would love to see more of that right. as well, which we are. We are seeing it. Um, Get Out just came out. And, uh, you know, it was, I haven't had a chance to see it. I haven't seen it either, <laughs> but, but from, from, but the, from, from Jordan right. Peele, the, the comedian, if you don't, I'm not familiar with Jordan Peele, he's one half of the comedy group him. Key and Peele. <laughs> And that that yeah. movie is I haven't seen it, but he just the the, comments, the, response, the response, yeah. yeah. I yeah. definitely want to see that, and that right. that, that that's some, like yeah. And and that's another thing we were talking to, like the way that we will get more of our stories out there, the way that we will get the more of those roles producing our own mm -hmm. stuff. That's mm -hmm. basically one of the. That's why you can come to the actress cut with me, and we can talk <laughs> about whatever we want to because it's my show, and yeah. we can talk. <laughs> and we can be ourselves here. Yeah. yeah that's very important. Mm -hmm. That's very important. So, another thing that you may not know, that I know, and that I'm going to ask her about right now, is she's a sports girl, too. She, she, <laughs> she, she, she loves her sports. Oh, God. So, are you going to ask me? And we were, talking <laughs> yeah, about, okay. we were talking about our sports teams. Now, okay, so now it's, it's, it's you know, all, almost time for the playoffs. So we see KD is hurt. Um, a lot of the true. major teams yeah. have, you know, injuries. Kevin yeah. Love is still out. Do you still? And Boston is really good. Mm -hmm. Boston had a big win last mm -hmm. night over Golden State and Golden State. So who do you do you see any surprises for the uh, NBA Finals for any of the, the the conference championships? Any team that you <laughs> think may take that next step that so. hasn't been there? <laughs> So look, I, <laughs> so this is the thing. Pilot season was insane. <laughs> it, was very, <laughs> it was very busy. And I'm also <laughs> rehearsing for a sketch show <laughs> that's going to be starting so on we Monday. So I think I know the answer to this question. I haven't, I haven't watched anything. <laughs> I haven't watched anything. Oh, my God. But it's so funny. Okay, speaking of sports, it's so funny. because So I'm at work, and um, these girls come up, and they start trying to sell us uh, Mets tickets, Mets, the baseball team. And so, um, so, you know, she's trying to sell us, and she's like, I got four tickets for $50. She's like, they're really good seats. And the whole time I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, uh uh, I'm a Cardinals fan. <laughs> I was like, this is, I don't care how good your she deal is. is. I'm not, I'm not paying for anything. I can't do that. No, no. She put me in this awful situation. I was just like, mm, no. She kept, she was really selling the tickets too. She, she, did, she did a great job, but I was just like, oh no. <laughs> I'm a Cardinals fan. <laughs> never, I'm never, never go s pay for other teams' seats. No, <laughs> not today. But so yeah. <laughs> so, but I haven't, I haven't had a chance to watch it's it. Okay, we forgive you. I because <laughs> we have been, we 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 we're all right with you going out there doing yeah. what you need to do so we yeah. can see you on the big screen. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Okay. So. Well, let me answer that. Mm -hmm. Cleveland, again, let's go. <laughs> oh, I am. Well, I love Cleveland. So, yeah. Yeah? You think, yeah? So, you think they'll repeat, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm a huge LeBron James fan. So, yeah. You don't even need to watch the season. All you have to say, you're a huge LeBron fan. And yeah, yeah they'll win. And I'm, he's doing I'm good pretty great. Yeah. I wonder if he'll be MVP again. He should. He's doing, he's doing pretty good. He has everything. It's pretty like he's from what what I get to see, you know, in ESPN when I walk past like a bar, <laughs> <laughs> walk past like a, an office or something that's playing ESPN, and I listen a little bit. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, he's still good. <laughs> All right, still got it. So yeah. 
<laughs> it's kind of close this year. They got James yeah. Harden and Russell Westbrook, but yeah. but, but we'll see. I do. We'll I like Wes, I like Russell Westbrook too, though. Russell, he's off. He's, yeah. he's off the charts. He's powerful. He's. He's got like what a yeah. hundred and fifty million triple doubles this yeah, season. Yeah, I like how he plays. <laughs> very, I, I like it. It's like it's very entertaining. He plays mm-hmm. with. He plays like a a very theatrical yeah. athlete. Mm-hmm. He plays mm-hmm. with a lot of passion. Yeah, I'm here for it. And ferocity. Yeah. Right. And you mm-hmm. know, even a finger roll is real dramatic right, with Russell right. Westbrook. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's yep. how we should embrace every Everything. role as an actor. <laughs> right. Just, just channel can Russell, learn some Russell things, Westbrook. Right. Can learn some things. I'm watching this like, oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Guys really put it in. All right. And the Oscar goes soon. No, <laughs> Russell, Russell Westbrook. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Man, I didn't even know. Do the do. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. So, so, funny. so what, what, what have. I, what 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 shows have you been watching lately? Have you been? Has there been anything that's been out that has been <laughs> catch your eye? It's, we have a you yeah. know we have a lot of it's a lot of good little shows out there lately okay. so far. So, I've been watching <laughs> I've been watching two shows. One is I guess they're both scripted. So there's uh, Emerald City, which is kind of like uh, it's pretty much uh, the Wizard of Oz. But um, is that it's good? Been, it's been it. Act, it started off a little bit slow, uh-huh. which usually happens with like pilots, like the first couple episodes. You know, they're trying to introduce everything, but it's really good. Mm-hmm. It's um, really good. A lot of just strong characters, a lot of great actors. Um, I think it's. I think it's great. Um, I don't. They just had the finale. I thought the finale was great. Um, I love. I love how they tie everything in. I know it's based off um, some books. And um, you know, I'm I'm really looking forward to the second season, so I hope they renew it. Please renew it. I was hearing <laughs> some, some stuff about that. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. Okay. It's really really good. Okay. And uh, <laughs> I've been watching. <sighs> listen, it's a reality TV show, but I think it's scripted. I've been watching The Bachelor. And the Bachelor. You, yes, and you know the, the TV n- show. Yes, that still comes on. Yes, it does. Oh, okay. And they just chose their bachelorette, and she is actually the first Black bachelorette to be a yeah, part of the franchise. That. So okay. yeah, I'm excited. That, <laughs> but that's yeah, gonna be an do, interesting show. I do watch The Bachelor. Yeah. Ooh, so, <laughs> so we got we got The Bachelor and Emerald, Emerald City. Emerald City. Yes, and then as soon as I'm done with rehearsal and doing the show. April 1st, as soon as I'm done, I'm going to start catching up on all my shows. Well, you know what I caught so, up yeah. over? Caught up on mm-hmm. over the holiday break? Mm-hmm. Uh, Walking Dead. Mm, like, they, yeah. they showed all, like, six, yeah. seven seasons. So, mm-hmm. you know, I didn't get to watch every single episode of right. it, but I caught the majority so right. I could get caught up. Mm-hmm. And now I'm on point with it. Yeah. And that... Uh, <laughs> That's some guts and some yeah, horror and stuff. And it's, it's intense. It's, yeah, it is. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. I like that. You know what I like, too? Because I'm so I'm so happy and I'm so overthrilled with mm-hmm. the amount of black actors that have really been coming out. Like uh, Marsha Ali, that just mm-hmm. got the supporting yeah. uh, actor and mm-hmm. for the Oscars. Um, who else? Um uh, 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 Corey Hawkins, the guy that played Dr. Dre and coming to him and uh, straight out of Compton, oh, and now he's 24, in Twenty Four. Like, yeah, see, that is a great show. Is it good? It is a really okay. good show, I, I, and I'm so glad that there's all these you know different black shows and mm-hmm. stuff coming out because you know that we're you know it, even from like maybe shoot. Five six years ago, it's mm-hmm. a real difference in the mm-hmm. roles and the type of TV shows that mm-hmm. we've been getting on and so forth, and and, and, and the different characters. Not even mm-hmm. just playing like the side friend or the hood person or whatever, mm-hmm. but you know, just lead yeah, roles. yeah, shows mm-hmm. like 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 Blackish, like with Anthony mm-hmm. and oh, that mm-hmm. show. Blackish is good. It's yeah. absolutely like it's just good. I'm just excited for diversity in general with everyone. Yeah. Um it's it's a struggle for for everybody. And I'm not only glad for, you know, my people getting roles, but just um you know, just Asian Americans and Indian Americans and just everyone uh you know, just gays and lesbians like everyone's just really having the opportunities to tell their story. And mm-hmm. and, and right, as slow as it's happening, 
you know, it can only go up from there, right. you know? So it's, it's an exciting time for just television and film. It is. Mm -hmm. It is a lot of diversity out mm -hmm. there, you know, with the different roles mm -hmm. and different genders. Mm -hmm. um, as you know, we see we see Laverne Cox get nominated mm -hmm. and win a lot of different awards. Yeah. Shout out to all my girls on Orange, Taryn mm -hmm. and Jackie and Diane and Dasha and all mm -hmm. of you and Uzo and my wife works on the show as a hairstylist mm -hmm. and, and Angel, uh, Angel and that, just everybody. Everybody. I love <laughs> Neri, Gingy, everybody. It's a great show. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's, 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 it's awesome mm -hmm. to see, you know, the diversity of, mm -hmm. you know, the different types of shows, like I said, and the, yeah. and the genders and, and mm -hmm. what the shows are. Are, are, are based on yeah. and so forth. It's, 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 I think yeah. this is probably some of the best times in television and films just because mm -hmm. there are so many more outlets for yeah. people to get To get uh, exposure and to put their stuff out there. Yeah, there's there's lots of things. There's uh, there's YouTube. People can, just the web series world. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. That's just, taking off like crazy. Yeah, just doing really good. What, and is, that, what is that, the... The one black lady that has the show on HBO, and her, it started off as a web series, Star Skin, Real Pretty Lady. She has the short, natural hair. I forgot what it's called, but she started off on the, um, on the, uh, on, as a web series. And then she was like the first African American, I think that's okay. her. The first yeah. African American woman to be nominated for some, for really? some, like, yeah, yeah. She started, mm. she, her, yeah. hers was a web series. Yeah, and our, yeah, it was, uh, Awkward black girl, and her yes. show is called Insecure. That's yes. what it is. Yes. yes, that's what it is. Yes. Yep. So yeah, I haven't seen it yet. I, <laughs> I haven't seen it, and I purposely not watched it. You know, just because I want to really, <laughs> I want to really uh, just sit down and like really enjoy all these shows. I don't want to rush them. Right. 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 <laughs> but yeah, I haven't. I haven't watched it. But like I said, uh, the response have been has been really good with it. Right. So yeah, right. I've been busy. Right. It's, it's, it's okay. Stuff. You got you yeah, got to do you, you, you got, <laughs> got bills to pay. <laughs> right. She got bills to pay. You know. <laughs> you got to get this lovely young lady a leading role in a nice nice movie. <laughs> Just yeah. be good. Just uh, be good to go. <laughs> you know? <laughs> commercial. I just did a commercial actually, so Tell us about look it. Look out for that. It was <laughs> it was kinda cool. It was you know, she it was it was a bit silly. Mm. Uh, it was a, a Honda commercial. And uh, I liked the way it turned out. It turned out pretty well. So I'll be posting that soon on my Very nice. social media. Very nice. So, yeah. So social media. And you know what else? Mm -hmm. For all these outlets my on demand when i go to my on demand on tv mm -hmm. it's like a hundred different channels it's like channels yeah. that i never even knew existed right that, like, right so and, and people are accepting like me media submissions all the time mm -hmm. for different content i knew at one time tv one was uh accepting content like it, like it's just it's really? just so much so mm -hmm. If you are creative and you're looking to do your own thing, mm -hmm. don't be afraid to go out there and produce your own content. Mm -hmm. This is what it's all about. Yeah. It's really all about mm -hmm. self-expression and, mm -hmm. and, and, and building characters that people can uh, express to others and that mm -hmm. other people can relate to and just yeah. having more and more diversity and more mm -hmm. and more great, great, great stuff. Because I love watching, I love watching good TV yeah. and good film and stuff. And just stories you've never seen before. You know what I saw? Yeah. Oh, uh, me and my wife the other morning, the other Saturday morning, it was about 8.30 and I don't know why I was up that early on a Saturday <laughs> morning. But... We ended up watching, this was my first time ever seeing it, and I saw it from start to mm -hmm. beginning. Guess who's coming to dinner with Sydney Portier? Mm, that was an that, awesome yeah. movie. Yeah. That, it I was haven't had really, a chance to see it. It was really good. It's one of those, and mm -hmm. th this is one of those things about classic, classic shows, mm -hmm. classic films. Like, this was way years and years ago, and it's still has that quality to, mm -hmm. to captivate you, you know, to yeah. keep you, want, even if you've already seen it and you know what the premise is, mm -hmm. is about, you're still like, I was still, I was like, hey, this is, this is such a good movie. Yeah. I feel, I've been watching a lot of like little off movies <clears throat> lately, like little movies way back in the day. Like I just watched The World According to Garp again. Have you ever seen that with Robin Williams? It's, it, it, mm -hmm. it, it takes place, um, I think it was made like in the early 80s or okay. something like that. 
where his mom is a, a nurse and a feminist activist and mm -hmm. it's real deep it's real it's a real it, yeah. it's a real good movie mm -hmm. so it's just you know classic movies you know yeah. sometimes you you don't even yeah. you, you just find yourself watching something and pretty soon right. it's like two and a half hours later and you're like damn it's over mm -hmm. that was good right <laughs> so there's so many movies out i just feel like every time i thought like oh i've seen everything and then another one pops up and you're like oh man right right there's another film right. and they're and it's always great even the ones that that aren't that great i still like watching them. Right. So uh, right. I'm like, I still can sit and watch it. I'm just like, right. Right. you know, if I'm not busy. So, yeah. Thank you for coming down and giving me some love. Thank you. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you for inviting no me. No worries, no problem. <laughs> I always love having you down. Go ahead and give the people your information where they can book you, get in touch oh, with you. Okay. Um, well, you can find me on Instagram, and my Instagram is hey, Tara Janae. Um And to spell that is because my name's not spelled like Tara Janae, like how full people think it is, but it is Hey Tara Janae. It's Hey and then it's T E R A H and with Janae, it's J E N E. So yeah, you can find me there. You can also find uh, the work that I'll be producing in a few weeks as well as just other outlets, other projects that I have coming up. So yeah. <laughs> We're very excited. Yeah. <laughs> we look forward to what you have, Yay. what you have coming up, what you right. have coming up. This is mm -hmm. this is always this is always a, a great pleasure to see you yeah, and to work with you. you. Hopefully, we'll be doing some work together soon. Mm -hmm. Hey, I, I'm a real good dyer too. So when you start <laughs> filming that horrible stuff, like, yeah, I love it. I love it. I always. And it's always I'm been dead. my dream. <laughs> <laughs> it's always been my dream to book like a sci-fi original film, like a giant <laughs> snake that's mixed with like a piranha, and then it just like cuts me open, and then like all my intestines come out. I'm just like, ah, like I. That's awesome. That's that's my dream role. Piranha, piranha. <laughs> that's my exactly. <laughs> that's we gotta start that. <laughs> we gotta. You better keep it to yourself. <laughs> we gotta start that. No, you didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try to use that. I'll come after you. I will come after you. Oh, by the way, it's copywritten. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> See? Mm -mm. Well, thank you for coming right, down again. You. Oh, man, I had a wonderful time. <laughs> Folks, thank you for tuning in once again to the hit show, The Actors Cut. I'm here every week with you. Every Wednesday, you can catch the show on MNN HD Channel 1993 at 5 p.m. every Wednesday, The Actors Cut. Um, Shouts out to my mom, my dad, my kids, my my son Daniel got green all week. That made me very happy. Mm -hmm. I love you. You're a good mm -hmm. boy. Naima, dad loves you. Thank you for joining the Actors Cut with Tara Weddington. Peace. Bye. <laughs> awesome. Yay. That Thank you so good. much. That's awesome. Once Yay. again. Ha, ha, ha.